What is going on guys? John here for another food review and today we are going to Arby's to check out the uh, roast beef gyro. They also have a turkey variety but we're going to get the beef. I'll see you guys in a sec. Uh, no thank you. May I please have the beef gyro with no tomatoes? Just, just the sandwich please. Okay, anything else for you? That'll be it. Okay, 420. Alrighty. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Let's eat. Alright guys, we are parked. It is time to eat this beef gyro from Arby's. But before we get started, few things. Number one, add me on Snapchat. If you have Snapchat, bite and chew food, no spaces. Number two, I'm gonna be starting a new product review series. We got a nice little area set up where I'm gonna be doing the product reviews, so I'm gonna include a link below. Uh, just suggest some products for me. That's that's pretty much all it is. One question, what products would you like to see me review? Send, anonymous, just like the other survey. So that, and then what was the other thing? I had a third thing, I swear. Snapchat, product reviews. Nope, that was it, time to review the sandwich. <clears throat> all right guys, so this was $4.20. Not a bad price for a sandwich. $3.99 plus tax, not bad so far. And it honestly felt pretty heavy when she handed me the bag. There's the bag right there. So I believe this is pita. It is tzatziki, which is a yogurt-based sauce. And the thinly sliced beef. I'm pretty sure it's just the same beef that they use on all their other roast beef sandwiches, but they add some seasonings and stuff to make it nice. Nice and euro-y. Wow, this is actually loaded with beef. Let me get you in here for a close-up. All right, guys, here we go. Look at the beef overflowing right there. This thing is looking good. A lot of beef in here overflowing on both sides. Nice shredded lettuce and the tzatziki. Let's get into it. All right, guys, so we have the, <clears throat> the flatbread. We have beef overflowing out of the edge. We have some onion, some lettuce, some of that seasoning. And did I say tzatziki? I think I said tzatziki. Nothing left to do, guys, but take a bite. Nothing but beef. Got to go in for a few more bites because I didn't really get anything but beef. The first thing... is I'm really impressed with how much beef they put on here. I mean, look at this. Overflowing on that and it was overflowing on this I'm Loaded. Usually Arby's is kind of stingy. I mean, really if you want a lot of beef, you gotta get like the extra large beef and this is actually pretty decently priced with a lot of beef on it, so let's continue. I'm not tasting a whole bunch of tzatziki. I don't know if they didn't, like do you see any tzatziki right there? It looks kind of dry to me. But let's try the other side where I definitely see some. All right, there we have some tzatziki in the bottom. A few more bites, and I'll let you know what I think. Mmm. All right, guys, so this thing was freaking awesome. It was loaded with beef. The beef had great flavor. I didn't get much tzatziki in the first few bites, but that's not an Arby's issue. That's a whatever random employee at the time at my specific location issue, you know what I mean? So if they do it right, which I'm sure nine times out of 10 they do, they put it all over the all over the pita instead of just in one corner like I got, I'm sure it'll turn out great. So loaded with beef, a lot of flavor, love the tzatziki sauce, nice and creamy, nice fresh flavor there. The pita bread was nice and soft and it was like, it had the floury outside and it tasted like it was just baked in an oven like five minutes ago, which I'm sure it wasn't, but it tasted that way, so who cares? So, $3.99, loaded with beef, loaded with flavor, nice and tender. This was probably one of the best things I've had from Arby's so far. I don't know, that brisket sandwich was pretty good, but one of the best. Not the best, one of the best. So, definitely go out and check this out. I would definitely give this a 9 out of 10. Um, I would totally order this again. I might order this next week. I might order this tomorrow, who knows, but... There you go, guys. Thank you very much for watching this video. Thumbs it up if you liked it. Please subscribe if you have not already. Add me on Snapchat, Bite and Chew Food. 
and be sure to suggest a product for me to review because I'm starting a new product review series next week. See you later, guys.